Are you tired of playing Ash and getting killed as soon as you walk in a building? Or are you tired of being an absolute waste of an Ash select to your teammates? Or are you tired of being hard stuck copper? If you answered yes to any of these questions, this is the video for you. Today we will break down exactly what you were doing wrong as Ash and how you can play better and immediately turn your KD upside down. Along with some tips and tricks for her, this is the complete operator breakdown for Ash. Let's get started. So to get started, Ash is an operator on the attacker side. She's a three speed, one health. Now for those of you that don't know, three speed, one health basically means you're as fast as you can be, but also you can't take as much damage as people who are two health, three health. She is basically known to frag out. If you are Ash, you are only worried about getting kills, being the first in the building, first to drop kills, and if you die, you want to get on your cams. Do not sit on your phone like everybody else. That will not help you in any situation. So for loadout, if you are not good at controlling recoil at all, I recommend going with the G36C. It's pretty easy to control, pretty much a laser. You get a vertical grip, especially it's a laser. You wouldn't really need a vertical grip on it though. You could do horizontal grip and if you want to run faster. It's really up to you. Angle grip, you don't really need it. You get how many? You get 30 bullets in a mag. You should never take 30 bullets to kill one person, maybe two people if you're getting rushed. But even then, you should be able to have time to switch to your secondary. So I rock an ACOG, a flash hider which is definitely, it's a good one. It reduces speed at which the muzzle shoots upward. Compensator reduces horizontal movement. So while you're shooting up, it won't go side to side to side to side. Muzzle break, single shot firing. You are never gonna wanna put a muzzle break on, ever on a, these assault rifles. Suppressor, I mean, I don't really rock suppressors like that. I find it more useful for like a flash hider, which reduces the speed at which the muzzle moves up. So your recoil will be easier to control on top of that. You could do damage drop off, but one bullet to the head kills people and you should be aiming for the head each and every time you shoot your gun. Let's move on to the R4C. Now she got her egg cog back. So everybody's pretty much gonna be rocking this gun. You could do flash hider, which I personally run, or you could run extended barrel. Whichever one's up to you, I prefer flash hider though. Vertical grip, this gun has a lot more recoil than the G36C. So a vertical grip I would recommend over the horizontal grip. Look at Just look at the recoil pattern at the bottom of your screen, look at the difference. It'd be a lot easier to control if you just do vertical grip. All right, so here's what you wanna to do to start. So wherever you feel like entrying in, I feel like I would wanna say here, for example, right? Make sure you do this in the prep phase. So if you're the only drone that's really going to look for the bomb, go look for the bomb, of course. But after you get, find the bomb, it is important that you get your drone to wherever you want to enter the building in. So if you go like right here, you would have clear view of anybody trying to, you know, contest you. So what you want to do is you would either want to check it yourself before you go into the building or you want to have a teammate watch it. And here's a little tip and trick in case you didn't know. Shoot this up into the corner. You can get right in here. You take no damage and then you're in. So your goal for Ash is to pretty much just be entry frag. That's all you really want to do. Once you get into sight and you can get maybe one or two, that's really the goal for her. Now, for claymores, of course, what I like to do is if there are teammates just holding off a certain angle that they don't want to get flanked from, like let's say they don't want nobody coming out. Let's say they don't want nobody coming out of here, right? Well, bang, you put one right here. They can't come out and get you there. If they're hanging out on this window or the balcony, then bang, you can put one right here. And unless if they go and they shoot the claymore, there's no way for them to get around it without shooting it and letting your teammate know that they're there. If you're at the end of the round and let's say you're still alive, what should you do? First off, I feel like you shouldn't have a bomb. We're gonna drop that. 
that's going to be a teammate planting. And as Ash, you should probably be the top frag anyways. So you should just be holding angles and making sure nobody can kill your teammate. So as Ash, your job is pretty much just get into the building, cause chaos, get a couple picks, see what you can do, be the first person in, and of course, you got that three speed, so you can just rush anywhere you want to. It's pretty straightforward, not much to her, so let's get on with the tips and tricks, I guess, that you could use. Okay, so this one's a pretty well-known one. If you're gonna wanna come to the front porch out here in a clubhouse, and you're gonna wanna lay down right here. Now, you should drone this out if you know that you're gonna enter in from here or at least do something from here. So you should know nobody's in here. If you break this, oh, my bad. You should break this. You shoot an ass charge right about there. Bang. Then, you'll be able to see the uh, bandit charge would be completely missing if they went CCTV. You would have destroyed it and could have got an easy thermite on that wall there for your team. Now, if you want to enter the building and they're on CCTV, you can take your drone up here. I'd like to break that barricade right there. Throw your drone in. Right, you get our drone in here. We scope out what's going on. We're pretending they're in CCTV, not in gym or bedroom. Boom, make sure no one's here. Make sure no one's here. Okay, cool. You shoot it in the corner right there. Don't take damage. You get in. Easy entry into the building. They don't know you're here. Now, from this point on, you could drone if you want to, but your goal is to mainly get kills. So they wouldn't expect you to get in here right away either. So you could kind of catch a couple off guard or maybe some roaming not expecting you to be there. As Ash, I would recommend not ash charging like wasting your ash charges on barricades that lead right into the objective that's a waste of time they're gonna get opened anyways instead i'd like to use what my rule would be is use one ash charge for utility one ash charge for entry and if you feel like there's no utility like down there if there's no utility to break if you're not somewhere right here where you can just easily get an ash charge off on a bandit charge or something like that then use it for a distraction. So if you can't necessarily use one for utility, using just replace the utility one for a distraction, that one's really up to you. So if you wanted to, let's say, distract them from where you're coming from, bang, you could ash charge this right here, run all the way around. They're not gonna expect you to be coming from right here. Let's say you wanna come from like up in here, right? Well, we can distract. You get something off, like right here, maybe right there, and then you immediately run and swing, crouch. That's usually open, you can get someone right there. Boom, right there, swing in. They're not gonna know that you're coming because by the time they react to the floor blowing up down here, they're not gonna be looking right here. They won't have the time. They're gonna wonder what just blew up right here couple people are gonna look and then you can get the easy pick right here and you can enter through in here if you'd like or enter in through here and with that being said that's all there is to ash really and thank you for watching and we'll do another operator breakdown very soon like subscribe comment and I'm out